Andy, come here. I want you, I want you to watch something. What? Put this in. It might get nasty. <laughs> That's funny. It's kind of funny, but it's super do gross, you, right? Do you hear and see the responses of the people? What, what I'm telling you? That's this weird. That was pretty much my reaction to when I first saw that clip. I, I saw it on Twitter and was like, wait, what's going on? And then, you know, as soon as he like, you know, spits that first one out, I was like, oh, gross. Uh, so I didn't want to subject you guys to like, you know, the full clip, make you guys watch that. You probably know what I'm talking about. Michael Todd there in the clip spitting into his hand a couple times in a really gross way and then wiping the face of his congregant uh, in a way to show that's what Jesus does to the blind man. Uh, and that's what, you know, he needs to do in our lives is to use the gross things to uh, make us, you know, get into a position where we can have the good things like in his example, uh, getting a brand new car, because that's, you know, the struggle that we all have. It's not, you know, sickness and paying rent and how to live in this pandemic world. None of that. It's about getting a brand new car. That's what we're all focused on. Not so much, but that's that's how out of touch he is. Uh, but you could see just even when he starts doing it, he's trying to get the crowd riled up. He's trying to be as gross as possible. And the thing that's grossest about that clip is the blasphemy that's in it. You might not have caught that, but at the very end, he says this. What, what I'm telling you is how you just reacted is how the people in your life will react. When God is doing what it takes for the miracle, what are you saying? This man was blind. And what he was trying to do with this man is give him his DNA. Now, this is a phrase that a lot of extreme faith healer types use. People like Kenneth Copeland, uh, people like Bill Johnson, they all use similar phrases to this to say that we're basically little gods, that we have the same DNA as Jesus. Uh, the problem with that is that that's blasphemy. You're, what you're doing when you're saying that is really you're doing one of two things. Either you're taking the second person of the Trinity and bringing him down to our level, or you're raising yourself up to his level, and both are blasphemous. You're not Jesus. I don't know why that's so difficult to understand, but Michael Todd, you're not Jesus. Uh, Bill Johnson, you're not Jesus. There are some things that Jesus does because he's God, that we as his followers aren't meant to replicate. Now we are to follow in his teachings, but he never teaches us to do things like this or to somehow uh, build up ourselves to the point where we can have that same kind of power, that DNA of God. That's blasphemy. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick and throw up a few of my thoughts here and... Uh, I'd, I'd be interested to see what you think about it. What do you think about a pastor using this kind of stunt uh, to get himself, at least I, I guess it worked, right? We're talking about him. Um, but I guess he's going to be known as the spitting pastor for now on. Mark Driscoll's the cussing pastor. And now I guess Michael Todd's the spitting pastor. <sighs> That's the world we live in. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>